To get things started, I just have two video clips here that I would like to add a spin transition between. Let's begin by right clicking in the project panel and going to new item adjustment layer. Drag the adjustment layer onto your timeline. Right click the adjustment layer and go to speed slash duration. Change the duration so that it lasts for 16 frames. Now position the adjustment layer so that the middle of it is right above the cut. If you're having trouble placing it in the exact spot, position the time pad at the cut and press the left arrow key 8 times. Then drag the clip to the time head's position. Next, head over to the effects panel and type transform into the search box. Drag the transform effect onto your adjustment layer. This effect is going to allow us to rotate and scale the two bottom clips by using our adjustment layer. This way we can easily reuse this adjustment layer multiple times or even create a preset for it. Now make sure your adjustment layer is selected and then go up to the effect controls panel. Scroll down to the transform effect. First we're going to increase the scale so that when we rotate our video we won't see any black bars. Move the time head to the start of the clip. Then click the timer button next to the scale property to create the first keyframe. Again, make sure you are changing these properties under the transform effect and not in the motion area or the effect won't work. Now move the time head to the middle of your adjustment layer and change the scale to 300 to create your second keyframe. Then move the time head to the end of the clip and change the scale to 100 to create the last keyframe. Okay, now that we have our zoom taken care of, we're going to adjust the transform effects rotation property. Position the time head at the start of your clip. Click the timer button next to the rotation property to create the first keyframe. Press the right arrow key three times to move the time head three frames to the right. Change the rotation value to about five degrees to create the second keyframe. This value might be slightly different for you, but the thing you need to keep in mind is that you don't want any black video showing around the edges. Next, move the time head to the middle of your clip and change the rotation to 180 degrees to create your third keyframe. Then position the time head at the end of the clip and change the value to 360 to create your fourth keyframe. Press the left arrow key three times and then change the rotation to about 354 to create the final keyframe for the rotation. And now when I play this back, we have a spinning transition. To make it look a little nicer, let's add a blur effect to it. Go to the effects panel. Then type directional blur in the search box. Drag it onto your adjustment layer. Go up to effect controls and scroll down to the directional blur effect. Move the time head to the start of the clip. Click the timer button next to the blur length property to create the first keyframe. Press the right arrow key three times to move the time head three frames to the right. Then change the blur length to 20 to create the second keyframe. Position the time head at the end of the clip and change the blur length to zero to create another keyframe. Finally, press the left arrow key three times and change the blur length to 20 to create the last keyframe. And now when I play this back, we have a cool looking spin transition effect. Alright, and that's all for now. Thanks for watching and see you next time.